Welcome back to Cursed Mining and today we are returning to USB mining. You know what's nice about bear markets? Sometimes you can find incredible deals. So I found a deal for 10 gecko signs 2 pack Bitcoin miners with a powered USB hub included and I did not pay more than 12 euro for it. I'm not kidding you. Now you understand why I just could not resist. Here in the EU they are still being sold for around 70 bucks new which is insane. So today we'll talk about everything you need and set everything up. In the end we'll talk a bit about for whom these miners are and if they even still make sense. So what do we need? First of all we need a powered USB hub and in order to tweak our frequencies it should give at least 2 ampere per USB port. No need for USB 3.0 by the way, 2.0 is enough. We will take a look at different frequencies later but if you want to run higher frequencies you also want some sort of additional cooling. For me this is pure nostalgia sending me right back to 2013 because the little arctic fan you see also cooled my old block eruptor bitcoin miner. Nice to see it have a job again in 2018. Other than that, the USB cable from your hub should be as short as possible and made of good quality because you can also lose amps on long cable routes on USB.2 and your 2-packs might go in zombie mode. That's how CD miner calls it when your 2-packs stop reacting. If you know me, you know that first everything will get some good cleaning with my favorite maintenance tool, WD-40 contact cleaner. While everything dries off, we'll take a look at the software. A link to a pack with the mining software, CG miner, with drive included can be found in the video description. Do not worry, this is an official source from bitshopper.de, the one selling officially in Europe. Please mind that your antivirus program will probably still give you a red flag with CG Miner. It might be that there's nothing left to do for you except for setting up pool info and bat file, but if your two packs are not recognized, you need the WinUSB drivers by Sadik. Link is also in the description. Here you install the WinUSB and the LibUSB drivers. Also, a batch file is not included in the release, so we'll make one ourselves. You can find my personal example in the description too, but don't forget to put your own wallet info in, otherwise you'll be mining for me. In Windows, we do this by is simply creating a text file first. Here we give our worker and pool information and can also tweak the frequencies here but I'll leave it at stock 100 for now. Simply rename it to point bat afterwards to make it our starting file and it should always stay in the same folder as the mining software itself. So that's already it for the software side, now let's set the hardware up. Voltages are set manually on the stick itself and it can be a bit complicated for the beginning. So what I'm doing here is setting the stock voltage because some work look differently. You'll see that I got a bit of bad luck with the orientation of my USB ports, so I had to improvise. Here I definitely prefer the Moonlanders where each unit has its own cooling solution attached. So now everything will be resting on the top of my other PC. Let's plug it in for the first time and I'm glad the hub has its own power switch. Already party mode is initiated, so my office only grows more spaceship-like. Hooray! For all 10 2-packs to hash on the one hub, I'd need a custom power supply for it. But my plan is to downsize the number of 2-packs anyway, so I need no further investments here. So the last point for today is the following question. Should you buy this miner? For the outrageous prices they charge for them new, I'd honestly say no, they are not worth it. You'll be earning PTC dust and it will be very difficult to even reach a payout. But if you can find a good deal on them, I'd say heck, why not? I am one of those persons who have sold their old Bitcoin miners in 2013 and 14 and I've always regretted it. So I'm glad to have an array of similar devices again, which you can basically simply forget because they won't cost you much electricity and don't really need any maintenance. That is why the USB farm kept growing again. Also, if you never in your life wrote your own bat file and are completely new to mining, I always advocate machines like the 2-pack or Moonlanders as the perfect learning devices. That was also how I started before learning that I could torture my CPUs and GPUs too. So folks, that's already it. I'm really glad to have another USB mining video on the channel. But how about you? What do you think of these devices? And do you have some running? Since when? It would be nice to exchange some experiences. But that's already it for today. Happy USB mining to all of you. And bye.